right, so what we're going to go ahead and um, what we're going to go ahead and do today is change the ULON shelf interface just a little bit to kind of customize it for you know for ourselves to kind of personalize it, just because it is boring, really, really boring. So first, what we're going to have to do um, is get a picture uh, that'll work with with ULON shelf. I believe it's like in resolution. Uh, pixels with the main take ma uh, maintain aspect ratio unchecked in paint everybody has paint so you've got a program to fix the picture um, go in and resize it and go to the right um, the right tab and it should allow you to change the pixelation instead of you know just the percentage whatever um, change the pixelation deselect maintain aspect ratio and I believe it's like 580 by 640 or 640 by 580 is that right 640-580. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's 640 wide. Yeah, it's 640 wide, 580 tall. So, um, you know, plug those numbers in, save it, and then insert it to a flash drive and um, plug it into your PS2. So, um, we'll go ahead, we'll jump into ULON shelf. Now, the graphical interface, um, it's going to be a little boring kind of still. I mean, it'll still have the list form here. The making an actual GUI, um, it's really hard. It, it involves, I mean, it's not hard. It's just it's time consuming, um, you, know, you know, and and so I'll get the video done. It's going to take a little bit. Um, I'm trying to do it, you know, really, really good. So I want, you know, a graphical interface. I'm not just going to make a test one, you know, for the video. I'm going to actually make mine and then go back and show you what I did. So anyways, here we are, here we are. So first what we're going to want to do, let's go into File Browser, go to your mass storage device, find that picture you want. Here's, here's the one I want. I'm going to use the Toxic Operating System picture. Uh, well, that's what I was going to save for Toxic OS. It's just a biohazard symbol, but it really complements the colors that I want. So Memory Card 1 is where your mod should be. If it's not in Memory Card Slot 1, put it in there. I mean, not memory card slot one, excuse me. Memory card slot two, so MC1 on you launch elf. Um, and so anyways, once we are done with that, just go ahead and um, just save the picture. Just go ahead and we'll just paste it right here, just, you know. And now, uh, if you planned on creating the custom memory card icon to recognize that picture so it's not corrupted data, just go ahead and select a new directory also while you're in here. Um, give me one second. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and rename this real fast. So we're going to name it Toxic ULE. Now, I guess just go in here and uh, and repaste that. PSU paste it because you're in a directory now, uh, not your main path. So, anyways, just go ahead and delete that one so that we're not uh, not getting confused here. Okay, so now we've got the toxic ULE, and the only reason we created that folder is because then when you go and set the configuration file to boot from that picture, um, you don't have to go back and change everything when you want to put your icon, you know, your icon stuff in there. So we are done with that. The picture's in there. That is all we wanted. So let's go ahead, press the select button. It'll bring us back to the home screen of Ulon Shelf. And we're going to go down to configure. We are going to configure first screen settings. Background color. Uh, I, I don't care that it's black because I'm going to put a background, you know, a background picture in there. So um, color two for the frames. Now, I'm going to do mine green. And so, go ahead. Um, like it says, X is subtract. So, I'm just going to subtract. And now, with this, I want to go up to about 70-ish. 73-ish, depending on the lime green, we're going to find out here. Well, actually, we're going to, yeah, I think right there looks good. All right, so looking at the screen, 
Um, I mean, what looks red to you guys? Does anybody know what we're changing next? Hint, hint, bottom of the screen. So, again, I want mine to be green. Because most of my picture is black, so it'll work out. It will work out. Down, 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 down. And so now I want to set this one to the same color. I want it to be 82 for green. So now we got two. Color four, normal. Um, normal is what I want to be white. White is E0. If you look all the way over here, you can see that. The only thing that sucks about changing white, it gets really staticky on screen. Don't ask me why, so you've really got to look look really hard at the numbers when you're changing them. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to change mine to white while you guys change it to whatever color you would like. So we're basically almost there now. A couple more. E0. And so now we're going to move on to the graph. Um, now, for the, uh, for the white, that is going to be your little marker. Next to, uh, next to the E0 right now, the marker that you're choosing with. I believe, I believe that's what that one is. Um, I don't remember all the graphs. I know graph 5 is for the little folder icon. I don't know what color I'm going to put that yet. I kind of want to do it white. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it white. Not sure, like I said, not sure what the color graph 2 is for, uh, but I'm just going to put it up to uh, 82 with the rest of my green. Oops, too far. Going to leave this one white. Not 100% sure on that one either, or the last one. I forgot what the graphs are for, but... Um, I'm just going to leave them all like they are. I don't have a problem with it. I'm sure you can look it up, you know, Google what the graphs are for, maybe. Um, that, that guide might still be out there. I think it was on Mega Upload the last time I looked at it, and that's that's been gone for years now, so I'm not sure if it's even there anymore. So anyways, the next we're going to come down and take a look at skin settings. So here's where our picture comes in, that handy-dandy picture we saved. So skin path we're going to come into memory card one toxic ule image so that's what my background looks like that's why i did the white and green because it you know it'll complement that um, and then what you want to make sure you select is apply new skin now you can see it set up in the background and if you look at the colors of my you know the green outline the green buttons i think it's it's a pretty close match so i like it now, what you can do, you can change the brightness on it. I don't think it does much, honestly. It really doesn't do much. So I'm just going to drop it down, you know, right there, 65. 
show menu on the GUI skin. This is what I'm talking about. I'll get into that video later. Uh, it's pretty complicated. It's a really, really, really advanced uh, advanced technique, so it might take you a little bit. Um, but, you know, I'll make the video on it, um, explain it the best that I can, and you'll just have to do some experimenting. So anyways, we'll go ahead and return. Now, menu title. Let's, let's change this before we save anything. Menu title. Give me one second here. By the way, the square button is space. Now I do want to go back and change one thing because this graph right here, it's for the selection color. So I'm going to change that to white really quick. If you noticed when I was scrolling through selecting my name, that, that um, indication bar was green and I can't see it very well. So we're going to jump it up to white because white stands out really well with the green and black background. Okay, so once we have all of that on, you can leave everything else. The pop-up's opaque. You don't want it a different color to look goofy. Menu frame, you can select that on or off. I like it on. I think it adds, you know, a little bit more customization to it. So once we're done with that, we want to save the skin configuration. We are going to save it. Um, oops, didn't mean to hit that button. In the system configuration folder. Oops. save it in my toxic uh, folder here. config custom so you're gonna have to go over like when you save it whichever folder you save it in I just decided to save it here because in the system configuration folder I was getting a little bit confused before trying to figure out what I had saved even though I had renamed it it was just you know so I'm gonna save it here it's my you launch L folder so I'll know what it's for um, anyways you will have to you know um, when you come into the folder, select, you know, whatever you have in there. You'll just have to rename it, and it'll save it separate. It won't touch your, you know, my picture, for instance. That's, you know, what I use to save it. And so, um, we're going to go back now. And we're going to, yeah, select it to load from your, uh, from wherever you saved it from there. And so that's basically it, guys. I mean, that is really, honestly, it. Um, there's nothing to it. It's very easy. It's a little bit time-consuming, um, but it's doable. I mean, this video is 15 minutes. This is me going through explaining every little detail. Well, I wouldn't say every little detail, but... 
for the most part, oh, oops, my flash drive's inserted, so it's going to boot the configuration file from there. Let me just restart it once more. I have too many configuration files and too many memory cards, so... For some reason, my video capture just shut down, so I gotta open it back up real quick. I was gonna say, but anyways, as you guys can see, which you guys can't see because it stopped. <laughs> Alright, so. Go ahead and jump into Ulaunch Elf. I wonder if I, yeah, I said, okay, I was gonna say, I wonder if I set it to override or not. So there you guys have it. Um, that's basically that. Now, as you can see, the, the name we renamed at the top there in white, that's, you know, I changed it to, to my gaming name there. Um, so that's it. Just make sure when you guys use the picture, um, you know, get your picture, whatever you want to use. Save it as a .jpg, a JPEG file. It cannot be a BMP or, you know, bitmap file. It cannot be a PNG um, you know, anything like that, it's got to be a .jpg or a JPEG image. Um, so anyways, guys, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, need help with anything, uh, just let me know. But, you know, like I was trying to say before, just use Paint, open up your picture, and then uh, resize it using the pixelation, not the uh, percentage. Um, uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio and set it for 640 width. I believe it's 580 height. Um, as you can look at, you know, your screen, it's wider than it is taller. So, um, anyways, guys, you know, I'll stop the rambling now. I think it's the third time I've said I'm going to stop the video, so I'm really going to stop the video this time. But, you know, like I said, any questions, comments, concerns, blah, 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 uh, let me know. Comment, you know, message me, send me a letter. I don't care.